the way I grew up, like watching other artists, I always felt like there was like a formula that had to be followed or a certain way, certain steps you had to take to become an artist or become a big name household brand or whatever. But honestly, I think what 2020 is showing everybody is that there are literally no rules to this. And especially like with the internet, people are getting really creative with how they're interacting with fans and each other. You don't have to be up on stage physically. You don't have to be in people's faces physically. You could really just, if you have a strong enough online presence or if you just take the time to just be online and connect with people that way, you can literally reach all corners of the world. So we're not restricted anymore to, you know, having to necessarily be in front of people. 2020, even though we're all like disconnected because of the pandemic or whatever, we still can be connected through the internet. So there's really no rules in being an artist. <sighs> Literally, you can go worldwide with just a press of a button. So what's your favorite part about it? About 2020 or being an artist? <laughs> being an artist. 2020, oh. uh, I'm pretty sure you have some highlights, but like everyone else, you, it's the best, worst thing that ever happened. Man. Um, sidebar. I think 2016 was actually worse than 2020, but my favorite thing <laughs> about being an artist, <laughs> and that's saying a lot because we went through a pandemic and everything, still going through it, but <clears throat> my favorite part of being an artist is, mm, I'll probably say like the journey of it all, because I have come from being such a shy person and just to see, to challenge myself to open up and talk to people and put myself out there. That's been really cool for me and seeing just how much more of me there is. So it's not just an artistic journey, but a personal journey as well. So it's almost like you came out of your shell 